Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for uh, joining me today on number three of uh, Biker Talk. Um, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen this before, this is uh, just a little uh, occasional series that I do, um, you know, within the channel there to answer any of your questions that I don't answer on uh, my usual sort of videos. But I had some good questions in. Um, thanks for that. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Just been so busy with... Uh, Need to throw that pen away because I keep clicking it. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, yeah something that I'm done for a while. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll kick off. It's not going to be too long, probably maximum ten minutes. But anyway, yeah, here we go. So uh, first question is from Crumble Mal eight four seven nine. Well, how are you, Malcolm? Yeah, uh, Malcolm's an off. He often well, he, he literally comments on all of my videos. So. Thanks for that, Mark. I'm much appreciated. Um, so he's asked, Hey, Jake, how the hell have I managed to miss the first one then? <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Interesting as, as it's good to get to find out more about yourself. It's a good idea. Yeah, it's not, not, you know, it's just something that I'm just trialing at the moment anyway, but seems to be good so far. Anyway, I do have a, quest, a question, actually. You went to Moto2 GP round last year. I think it was, in, it was in Italy or it was Spain, uh, right? So yeah, I'll answer that one first. There's a few questions in, in sort of amongst this as well. But yeah, I went to uh, went to two actually last year, last season. Um, the first one I went to was Jerez in Spain. So that's the, the actual, their sort of Spanish MotoGP round there. So, I mean, that was amazing. Um, the, the actual circuit was, it's in Jerez, so um, I actually stayed, I stayed on the coast, a little, um, a little place called Santa Maria, and I honestly was at, at the best beaches there ever, and uh, Jerez was probably about 15, 20 minute train ride from there, so it actually worked out really well, so what is good with these, you know, when you do do these, these um, rounds, you know, abroad and that is, is the fact that you can make a holiday out of it as well. So, you know, it works kind of quite well all round there. Um, but yeah, that was a very good round. As for the circuit, uh, circuit viewing was, um, I did actually put a little video on there um, uh, last year, um, you know, when I was when I was over there. But as far as viewing goes, it wasn't, I didn't find it the best circuit for viewing, but the atmosphere, you know, being their Spanish round of, of uh, the MotoGP was absolutely amazing. You know, the crowds were, were, were just unreal. So, um, yeah, that was the first one I went to. And then I think it was probably, probably probably a month later or something like that, I went to the Catalan round of GP. So, again, made a little holiday out of that. Went to um, Barcelona. So you're flying to Barcelona. And I think the, the circuit is, again, it's about half an hour train from um, Barcelona. So absolutely easy, easy to get to. Uh, they lay a little bus on um, from the uh, the train station to the actual circuit, which is which is good. It makes it a lot easier. However, they, it wasn't running when we were there, so we ended up walking, and it's all uphill. So, yeah, it's good exercise though. But yeah, that that was absolutely brilliant. That um, now the Catalan GP, if you're looking at going to to one of these, was I would say by far ten times better than than um, the Jerez circuit for viewing. I mean, the crowds, there wasn't massive crowds there. I don't know whether it was probably because it was the first sort of GP, you know, since the dreaded COVID. Um, but it was actually, you know, you could get right to the edge and you could see the riders. And yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. So um, at the two, I think I preferred Jerez for the atmosphere. And yeah, and uh, the Catalan uh, round for, you know, for the actual... Um, view, uh, viewing experience so that's that's I hope I've, I've answered that one for you Malcolm but I haven't actually got any plans to go go to any more um, at the moment anyway um, so it's just so busy with work at the moment and you know obviously that, you know that comes first so that's that one uh, what else did you say here oh anyway do you plan more like this and do you follow uh, or go to any of the BSB rounds right now as I just said I don't actually plan to go to any more GP rounds at the moment um, I'd like to, but maybe go to another round somewhere else. Um, the BSB, 
Yeah, I like to go to the, the BSB in Snetterton, which is the local circuit here. I've actually done a few track days there myself. Um, I'm no Valentino Rossi. <laughs> I actually, I've fallen off on that circuit as well, which didn't go down very well. Um, I was all right though, but the, the bike wasn't uh, too bad either. So yeah, so the BSB round, I think it's, I think it's actually early part of July. If I, I might be wrong, but um, yeah, it's a very good circuit, Snetton circuit. Um, they got the one of the longest straights there, I think. So you know, it is a really, really good, good circuit to go and watch. Um, the 300, so it's three miles, I think, all the way around. And um, yeah, it's very good. They also have other classes of racing there as well on the day, which uh, yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll, I should, hopefully, if, if uh, everything works out, be, be able to go to that. Uh, what else is there? Uh, I've always found that apart from racing, uh, you always see a fantastic selection of bikes to look at. Um, I'm thinking of going to some this year. I, I can't, if I can, cheers, good one. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you on that one. That's the the whole day. Um, you know, there's bikes coming in, bikers. You could, you, there's thousands and thousands of bikes. You can you can literally walk around there all day, and, and and look at bikes, which is that's what we like, isn't it? So, yeah, I mean, yeah, you you, you know, it's just unbelievable, really. So thanks for that, Malcolm. Um, really appreciate all your questions coming in, and uh, yeah, nice one. Cheers. Uh, next one here, what we got here? So this is from at Mersey Moto 3098. Hi mate. Hiya, loving the reviews and vlogs. Thank you. Uh, how long did it take to build the Lego Ducati? Oh, <laughs> uh, as you can see, I've got models everywhere. I've got a new edition here. Uh, anyway, the Lego Ducati, uh, I think I'd done that a couple of years ago now. And I did do like a, a time-lapse build on that actually just as a you know something something to put up there anyway I think it took about I think it took about uh best part of a day that one I mean it's not a massive model that one but yeah uh, that was very very decent but this one here uh, the BMW M1000RR so yeah I mean that's that was completely different I mean this 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 gearbox even shifts as well on here I think it's got about two or three gears on there so um you know, it's actually got a work in it. Obviously not a running engine, but all the components moving the engine. Very detailed that. I mean, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy building it. Um, but what I would say, though, is you need a lot of patience. And uh, yeah, so I might not be building one of them again for a while anyway. But yeah, it was a great Christmas present, that. I got that bought for me for Christmas present and yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, right, what else did he say? Oh, and what's, what's your favorite road to ride? Keep up the great work and look forward to seeing the Moto 2. Right. Best road to ride for me, tenfold, um, around this local area is there's a Norfolk Coast Road and it runs literally for miles. And, you know, it's got a bit of everything, twisties, you know, and that's absolutely brilliant. I love it. I love that route. You know, and you get to know it. You get to know the roads as well and, the you know, the, the route and that. So, um, yeah, and there's a quite, you know, sometimes a few of us who go out down that road and, yeah, have, have a proper proper blast so um yeah yeah that's 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 the, the basically the, the road it runs from kind of like horsey at sea pauling on the norfolk coast i don't know if you're familiar if you're not but it runs along the norfolk coast and it goes all the way up and uh yeah amazing amazing road that and um yeah sometimes it gets a bit busy with um uh you know traffic and that holiday makers you know, camper vans and caravans, that sort of thing, but absolutely brilliant. Look forward to seeing the Moto 2, yeah. That's another thing I wanted to say. Uh, I did put a video up actually last week, I think it was, depending on when you when this is, when you're watching this. Um, I actually did cancel the order for the Moto 2 uh, 765 RS, uh, unfortunately. Now, I have no reasons for that. Um, as I discussed in the video, have a watch of the video, you know, if you want to. Not now, at the end of the video. <laughs> and you know i just talk about you know that in general so yeah, yeah that, that's that, you know I'll talk about that in a nutshell but yeah uh next question who's this uh da, da, da. ah so at sharon john 1807 hi sharon how you doing uh hi jake any plans on getting a new bike and what sort of bike are you going to get 
well, I, I think really, um, I sort of squashed that idea, I was, like I just said just now, you know, about the Moto AT. I mean, that was a bike that I was really looking forward to, to, to jumping on, really. But yeah, in a nutshell, I mean, I, I really, I don't know if I was waiting too long for it. I ordered it in November last year, and you know, it's just given me a lot of time to think about, you know, what I wanted to do. And you know, and I've got the CCM Spitfire Six. Loads of videos on the channel there. Thoroughly enjoying that bike, and um, yeah, just decided to to sort of, you know, calm down a little bit on the on the bike purchases because they're not they're not cheap. You know by a long shot so um yeah decided against that and um hopefully you never know in the future maybe something else might come along and i might you know might might buy something else but at the moment i'm looking forward to yeah riding new bikes new bike new bike reviews lots of them on the cards although i haven't done one for a while um yeah due, like i say due to not not having the time and um yeah just busy with work and that so anyway just a quick one this one today so if you have got any questions and you want me to answer them on here, feel free, please put the comments below and I'll be, I'll be more than happy to answer them on here. Um, really do enjoy reading all the comments throughout the videos, you know, all the array of videos and that. And if you are new to the channel and you've only just come across the channel, click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, it'll be really good to have you along. Lots of content coming, especially through the summer. Um, should be getting back up to speed again with the videos. Um, like I say, winter time slows down a little bit. That's no fun for me going out in the wet, you know. And um, yeah, it's just something I enjoy doing. It is a hobby for me. And uh, like I say, I do work full time. So, you know, that keeps me very busy. And um, yeah, I really do appreciate you having me along. Like I say, comment below. I, I, I really do appreciate all of that. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care. See you soon.